Sziasztok! Hi everyone! I'm Sándor. Welcome to another Hungarian lesson. You might be familiar with the Hungarian verb nyomni and its official meanings. But you might not know how this verb is used in everyday speech as a slang. So let's dive in. First of all, nyomni officially mean to press or to push or to weigh. For example, megnyomni a gombot. Megnyomni a gombot means to push or to press the button. Or if you don't know how much a thing weighs, you can say Nem tudom ez mennyit nyom. Nem tudom ez mennyit nyom. I don't know how much this weighs. Or if a woman is giving birth, the doctor will most likely say Nyomjon. Nyomjon. It's a formal imperative in you singular and it just means push. But what does it mean in slang? Well, basically it means to do, but it's not that simple. It can substitute many different verbs referring to different activities. So I'll try to give you many examples so that you can get the feel for it, okay? So let's say you're working and a friend of yours calls you asking Michinas? Michinas? What are you doing? If you're in the middle of doing something, you can say Nyomom a melót. Nyomom a melót. Two slang words in one sentence. Meló is a slang term for work. So this sentence literally means I'm pushing the work. But you're actually just saying, I'm working. Or let's say, a guy on the street is playing guitar and he's really good. You can acknowledge it by saying to him, Jól nyomod. Jól nyomod. Literally, you're pushing it well. Meaning, you're doing it well. Even more naturally, it can just simply mean, you're good. But by using the word nyomni here, we're making it clear that we're referring to the activity that he's doing. Same when you see a group of professional dancers, for example. You can say, Jól nyomják. Jól nyomják. They're pushing it well, but it just means that they're good. They're doing their job well. It can also be used as an imperative. Let's say a friend of yours asks you, Elmenjünk moziba? Elmenjünk moziba? Shall we go to the cinema? You can reply with, Nyomjuk. Nyomjuk. This is the imperative form in first person singular, literally meaning, let's push it. But actually it just means, let's do this. I think we use this word a lot in everyday speech in this imperative form. But it can also refer to eating. Let's say a friend of yours is having lunch and you ask Mit nyoms? Mit nyoms? Literally, what are you pushing? But it just means, what are you eating? So as I said, nyomni can substitute many verbs that have something to do with activity. And unfortunately, it can also refer to drug use as well. I don't want to name any drugs here, but let's say an addict makes a confession saying Est és est nyomom. Est és est nyomom. Literally, I'm pushing this and this. But it means I'm doing this and this, referring to his drugs of choice. It's actually very common to use this verb among drug users. Please don't join the ranks, okay? But let's end on a more positive note. This verb can also be used to describe someone who's doing well in life. Let's say your father is a very successful man. He's also very busy, but he's managed to build a really good life for him and for his family. Then we can say about him, Jó nyomja. Jó nyomja. Again, he's pushing it well. That's what it literally means. But it just means that he's great. He's doing great, you know? Alright, I hope that this at least gives you an idea as to how to use this verb as slang. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I also have a question. Are there similar expressions in your language? Please let me know. Thank you for studying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you feel like supporting the channel even more, my paper information is in the description. See you in the next lesson. Sziasztok! A viszontlátásra!